it was good to get some guys back healthy after the day off. Uh, David Osbury was out here full speed, Brandon Carswell, Kyle Prater did, did more than he had been doing, Butch Lewis did some stuff for us, so um, it was good to get some fresh guys out, out here. Practice was a little strange in meetings because of class conflicts. Um, we lost a number of guys at point uh, at some point, uh, including Barkley had to leave halfway through practice, so uh, that made it a little bit difficult. But it, it was good. I thought guys were tuned in. They understand that you know it's time to go up a little, a little diff uh, another notch. You know, it's game week for us. And this is Hawaii week, and today was our Tuesday practice for Hawaii. Our focus has moved on to them, a little dip, bit different practice format. So I was pleased with how they responded to that, especially offensively. How did you think Allen looked out there today? Uh, he, had, he had two good runs. Um, you know, early, looked like it took him a little bit longer to warm up than normal um, with his knee, but um, but looked good. Have you uh, decided on a starting tailback and middle linebacker yet? We have made some some moves towards that. Um, by the way, did our reps go in practice, but we've not released a depth chart or finalized anything, um, but we have a, in some certain areas moved around some reps. Is it fair to say that uh, Tyler is in leading at the front runner now to start a tailback? It'd be fair to say we gave Mark more reps than what we had been doing. Um, we still gave Allen a bunch of reps, gave CJ some reps. Um, we, don't, we're not, we didn't give Dylan any for the most part him not being able to play versus Hawaii. Did, can, is Kennard one of those guys who also got more reps today? Yeah, we did. We gave him um, more reps uh, and Chris more reps with the twos. It's not been finalized, but um, you know the, there was a, di a little bit of a difference in the practice um, reps that way. Are you done alternating now? Like um, you, you had been get, letting one go with the ones one day and one with the next? We're moving that direction. Uh, you know, th there'll still be times in certain packages that they'll They'll both be in there with the ones, um, but we have started moving that direction. How will that work with, obviously today was a anomaly, but with the quarterbacks, what will you do with with two quarterbacks? Will they be the same kind of a thing where the one, you know, number one guy gets clearly more reps? Yeah, Matt, yeah Matt, Matt will get the majority of our reps um, as we're in game week mode. It's usually 75 to 80% of the reps. That's just the direction that we go. We're very confident in Mitch. He's had a great camp, had a great spring. Uh, very excited about his development um, and our confidence of putting him in the game and not having to change our game plan. What about the, the second wide receiver position? Are you, has anyone kind of moved ahead in, in that role? Yeah, I, I would say similar to those other spots. Um, as you looked at reps today, um, Robert, Robert Woods got more reps than normal with the ones. Um, once again, we haven't finalized anything on any of these spots. Um, but we did. You know, we did give him some more opportunities than normal. When are you going to release the first depth chart? Uh, after preseason game four, which is Thursday, Friday's off. And when we come back here, that's Saturday, which will be uh, a Tuesday practice for us. Um, we should have it done then. And you said, on you were also said le um, left guard. What, what, do you have any? Too hard to that? tell. Really too hard to tell. We don't know enough about Butch. Uh, but we've been excited a little bit that we've seen of him. We don't know where he's at. Um, and also, uh, Clyde Holmes um, had an MRI today, has some neck issues, didn't practice today. And um, you know, that's obviously a big concern for us is whether we're going to have him. Does that look to be something that's more than just a little problem? I mean, that's yeah, it could be. Um, you know, uh, they're reading it as we speak. They've looked at it a little bit today, and you know, it could be a long term thing. And, Unfortunately, so we got to be very careful with that. So it was an MRI that he had? Yeah, on his neck. Is it something that might need surgery that would put him out the whole Yeah, they, they don't know enough to know right now. Um, you know, it's just something, uh, he's had a number of stingers and just something that we need to be very careful with. Similar to Jarvis Jones' situation? Unfortunately, yes. Who starts in place of him? We don't even know right now. You know, we don't know enough about the guys. Um, because we don't know if Butch would be there, you know. Um, Abe has played some guard for us. Mike Reardon's been in there. Zach Hever has been in there, and so um, Graf has even gone in there at times. So hopefully, um, as we continue through this week, and when we get to uh, the next that Saturday practice, hopefully we'll have a really good idea of who's going to be here for the opener and who's not. How had Holmes been playing? Been playing great, really good. Um, 
probably as well as anybody on our offensive line. Uh, I think that you know if he gets through this, he's going to be a really special player, and you know potentially could be our center next year. Um, I think he, I think him going in there, he could have a real long career playing there um, if everything's okay physically. Yep. Thanks, guys.